Hey everybody, it's Josh at CollectionDX.com bringing you a review of the Figma 131 uh, Samus Aran from Metroid Other M, uh, the Metroid video game franchise by Nintendo. Uh, this is an amazing little figure here. Uh, it is just so much fun to, to hold. It's so solid and it holds its poses really well. I'm going to go through just a little bit about it. This won't be long because there's not a lot to the figure. It's very simple, but that simpleness is, is really great. So here's what we got going on here. If you want to check it out, we got ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders. There's a little gap in the shoulder there. The uh, separately jointed shoulder pads. Nicely done. Look how much, look at the range of motion in that, that elbow. Wrist, ball and socket. Um, it's a torso joint, which is nice. Uh, kind of a cool, I don't know, sheath, double ball, hip, double jointed knee, hinged ankle, which can also, the, 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 the foot can tilt, which is nice, and the toe is a joint as well. So as you can see, she stands rather nicely. That's right, Samus is a she, which if you grew up with Nintendo, the original Nintendo back in the day when you first played Metroid, you were a bit shocked when you found out that Metroid, the main character in Metroid, was a girl. But it's totally cool. We love her and we love all those classic Nintendo characters. So, and as far as accessories go, there are a few. There is uh, an alternate nozzle for the end of her gun. Gun arm, was so this just kind of goes in like so. You can also attach some energy blasts. Let me go get some energy blasts to attach here. You have this double energy blast, like so. You have a single energy blast, like so. It's a this fit here really tight, so I'm not forcing it. You also have some variant hands. Um, you know, Figmas usually are known for having a ton of extra hands, and they come with these little uh, hand holders, like this, the little bars that the other hands have popped into. Because Samus only has one hand, there are only four variant hands. Um, you can see how easy they are to just swap out and replace. There's an open hand. There's kind of a hand, and that's where we're kind of going over the the arm, like so. There's this this hand is kind of interesting that they have a uh, it looks like a weapon holding hand, but she comes with no weapons to hold. And then finally, she does come with a big thumbs up hand. Which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, you get the you get the default Figma stand, like so. Attaches right into hole in the back. So you can make some you know cool fighting poses and jumping poses and whatnot. And also, uh, you know, Metroid can roll up into this little ball mode. So the ball is included. Uh, and actually what's kind of neat is there's a space on the hole here. So should you want to just pose the ball, you can. Kind of cool. Um, when I got this, the person who I bought it from told me that this was a first release. I, got, I don't know what that means, if it's any different than any other releases. Um, but this is when it was first come out. There, this toy has been reissued a lot, and I don't think there are any changes to it, so I don't know that it matters so much which one you get. But uh, one thing that also is cool is that if you have the Figma die stage system, which is uh, 
uh, like a square stand. It comes with a cutout that you can cut out and uh, insert under the clear base. See the dotted lines in there? Should you want to use the die stand system? I don't. I have one and it's currently used with my GoGo 13 Figma. So there you go. Samus Aran from Metroid, another M, sorry, other M, uh, produced by Max Factory and Good Smile. This is Figma number 133. This is Josh from Collection DX. We'll see you next time.